Hey guys, it's Devin and welcome back to my channel. I know we're in a different location. I've never filmed here before because usually my family is in here. This is our family room. It's usually a total disaster in here. There's people in here. It's nuts, but my husband's out with the kids now, so I can actually film in here and it has the best lighting. So welcome to my family room. Um, today we're talking about my new hair color. I know it's not crazy extreme different, but I went strawberry blonde, which I love for those of you that have, for those of you have followed me for a long time, you know, I was a redhead like a year or two ago. I did love the redhead moment, but it was a lot of maintenance. I missed my blonde. I've always been a blonde. Um, so I went back blonde, but I had a client came come in the other day that um, was strawberry and I absolutely loved it. I'm like, maybe that would be a good in between for me. So I'm going to talk about that today, talk about what I used to get there, what I thought of it, and so on. So I actually balayaged my own hair. If you guys would be interested in seeing a video of me showing you how to do that, um, I can. If you're naturally um, a lighter blonde, you can put this product straight on your hair. Um, or a highlighted blonde, you can put this straight on your hair. It's going to give you the same effect. Because as you can see, my natural brown is kind of out at my roots a little bit. It only really attaches to uh, the blonde pieces um, of my hair. So what I use to achieve this is after uh, balayaging my hair, you can either throw a couple highlights in it, use what you have and just keep it rooty. Uh, I actually had tried to do it myself at, um, at work at the salon. We use Goldwell hair color. Um, I toned it with a KG, which means like a copper gold. Um, mixed with a BB, which is also kind of like a pinky gold, but it just came out too yellow on me. A strawberry blonde is really supposed to be almost like peachy, like a peachy strawberry um, pinky red, um, but light. So that's what I was looking for. So I went to Cosmopro. You guys can get this product um, online too. I've checked out a couple of websites that are available to non-stylists, so you can buy this yourself. Um, I got the Kenra Honey Coral. So just looking at that color right on the front looked like a really nice goldy peachy to me. So I looked it up online, looked at the reviews, um, tried, um, looked on in Instagram with the hashtag Kenrani Coral, loved all the colors that I saw it come out as. So remember, it's going to come out a little bit different depending on how blonde you are to start. So if you're really bright white blonde and you put this on your hair, it's going to come out a lot more intense than if you're like a darker blonde. So keep that in mind. That's why I always recommend everybody at home, if you're going to use a color, any color, any kind of toner yourself at home, do a test swatch. And usually when you do a test swatch, I would grab a piece from down here or just somewhere where if it turns out awful and you don't like it, it's not really a big deal. You can kind of hide it in amongst everything. So any color you're doing, always do a test swatch. Um, but yeah, so what you do is you have to do this on dry hair. It was 20 minutes. Um, you put it all over your hair. Um, I recommend just wearing gloves going section by section. I just use my hands. You can use a brush, um, but you just put it on a section. I used a um, comb, kind of combed it through, went to the next section. Then once you get it covered on your old, whole head, I just really mushed it in, massaged it into my scalp, brushed it through. Make sure you get everything covered because it's easy to miss sections, even if you think you got it covered always emulsify, massage it in, brush it through um, as much as possible. Make sure you get really close on the baby hairs as well. As you can see, this one little piece is like super orange and that's because that piece like was super white blonde. So that's how intense it could be if you're really super white blonde. I have not washed my hair yet. So I imagine this is going to tone down a little bit after a shampoo or so, but I love how it came out. So I definitely recommend the Kenra Honey Coral, the Kenra Color Semi-Permanent Creative. So this is semi-permanent, it's a toner. It says it lasts up to, up to 50 washes. We'll see about that. Usually it doesn't last that long. But these should fade on tone. These are creative um, semi-permanent. It said that you can like intermix um, all the creatives together to make a custom color, which is kind of fun and cool. If you want like a darker tone, I know they had like a darker copper as well if you wanted to mix it with that. But so far, I really like this line. It worked really nice. I'll let you know in future videos how it's holding up. The nice thing about finding toners like this is you can pay $12, have a whole bottle of this, retone your hair once a month, 
and it'll keep your color looking fresh and vibrant. So I'll let you know how these hold up after the um, couple next shampoos. Uh, we will see, but so far so good. Like I said, you can find it online in many different um, shops online. I saw it even Walmart, I think sells it. Definitely check that out. I want to show you guys one other thing that I've been using lately. I'm gonna do a favorites video coming up soon, but I just got this and I've been loving it. So I figured I'd share it in this video. It's the Badger um, Jojoba hair oil. So I know I've talked about Moroccan oil before. Before I really like that. Moroccan oil is a good product, but it's more of like a hair product oil, if that makes sense. Um, it does have alcohol in it and stuff, whereas this is like a true intense oil treatment. I do notice if you use too much of this, it makes your hair greasy and oil, um, oily. But I usually just add like a little bit like this to my hand and I've been working it in to the ends because I don't know about you, but for me in the winter time, my hair gets super, super dry. So doing something like that, obviously if you use a whole two pumps of it, your hair is gonna be greasy. But doing that like once a day will keep your hair moisturized, which also helps your color stay better. Also on my Instagram, I had um, updated a picture when I went strawberry blonde and I had a couple people commenting on these waves. I do have an old video, I just wanted to mention it in this video <laughs> in case somebody asks. I do have an old video of my everyday beach waves um, that should be under my hair playlist. But if you guys want an updated one, I could do that for you too. So let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys have favorite hair color toner products that you use. If you've tried the Camnerel, let me know. Um, and if you do try it, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.